just a few short weeks, the curtains will rise on this theater season's big musical revival, Showboat. New York One's Sharon Eisenhouse takes a look at the controversial show sailing into New York from a test run in Toronto. Fish gotta swim and birds gotta fly. I gotta love one man till I die. Can't tell loving that man of mine. It's show-stopping crowd-pleasers like this number that account for the enduring appeal of Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein's 1927 musical Showboat soon to set anchor again in New York. And this showboat will not arrive without fanfare or notoriety. But I ain't never heard nobody but colored folks saying that song. In between its lilting melodies, Showboat is a life on the river story laced with old issues of racism and discrimination still relevant and still touchy today. Issues those responsible for this show now claim to tackle head on in the current production. But I did want not to uh, indulge in stereotyping, you know, uh, Uncle Tomism. I didn't want to dramatize sort of, tr you know, conventional uh, black characters. And it was very easy not to because all it took was the excision of some words, um, a rethinking of how characters are played, uh, a, 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 a conscious effort to, to make what had been a kind of mammy character a much, a much stronger, more sinewy a human being. We never compromised our message at any time. We felt we had to make that message so that you'll know when you see in the balcony it was for colored folk and when the drinking fountains were white and black and neither could use the other as this, the case may be. And I mean we've made the point. You and me we sweat and strain body all itching and back with pain Talk that bad lift that veil Drabinsky may not pay the price for allegations of ancient racism, but viewers will certainly pay the price for this ticket. Showboat is the first show to break the $75 ticket price barrier. The producer says he's not concerned about sales. And the show is um, uh, 73 members on stage and uh, big cad, big orchestra, big backstage crew. And it's literally two times the size of most of the musicals on Broadway. Only make believe that you love me. Father's fine peace of mind in pretend. On October 2nd, Showboat will officially dock on Broadway at the Gershwin Theater. It may be a revival, but producers say a lot of what it brings to the Great White Way will be altogether new. In Midtown, Sharon Deasonhouse, New York 1.